Members of the House have made it public that there is a national security threat so severe they want the president to declassify it immediately so we can start working with our allies against it. Now that's not all that's going on. We also have a looming government shutdown which starts going into effect March 1st. So Mike Johnson is taking the bold strategy of sending the House home until the 28th. But don't worry, he did accomplish quite a bit. They got that impeachment. You know, the one that's done on grounds that the guy was doing his job. The one that failed the first time because they tried to squeeze it in while a Democrat was in the hospital who got back too quickly for them. And then they had to rush to get through while one Democrat was out with COVID and before another gets sworn in because Republicans just lost an election. You know, that one? Well, he has to go send people to the Senate to, you know, push for this dead impeachment there. It's not going to happen. And he knows that. But he has to send people there. And he's sending the brainiacs of his support. One is Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yes, he is sending Marjorie Taylor Greene and wanting the Senate to also have to listen to Marjorie Taylor Greene. I think that should be considered an act of war, but he's doing it. And then, because this bill is dead on arrival, he is sending someone else. Clay Higgins, the man who loves the ghost bussy. I'm sure he will not be able to be in the Senate without yelling about ghost bussy. We'll see. He, he seems to be incapable. And that's what the Republicans are doing. That's their big genius plan. That's the that's the best they have left. That's probably the only people they have that would be willing to go to the Senate to try to push this impeachment. Which should tell you just how strong it is.